Hi everyone, my name is Mulder and welcome to Rocket Arena Gameplay Tips and Tricks Mystine Beginner's Guide. In this video, we'll give you a beginner's guide look at Mystine, her three unique abilities, and how best to combo them against your opponents. Once again, this hero was heavily requested by you, the viewer, so keep those requests coming down in the comments. Mystine's abilities are Card Rockets, Mirror Shield, and her special ability Phantasm. We'll go over all those abilities and how best to use them against your opponents right in this video. I'll also show you what three artifacts I'm running currently to give Mystine a little bit more power that makes her a very good support class character. All that and more straight ahead. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for a lot more. Now without further ado, let's dive into our Rocket Arena tips video on Mystine. Ball reset. Ball taken. Kicking things off with this Rocket Arena video, let's talk about Mystine's three unique abilities. The first one are Card Rockets. Now, Card Rockets are her primary attack. These Card Rockets shoot at very slow speed, but are highly accurate and deal a decent amount of damage. And every third shot, you'll actually be able to do a burst of three cards at once, hitting your opponent doing a little extra damage. You will need to take your time in mastering Mystine's way of how she uses her attacks. Mystine's Card Rockets do shoot slower than other opponents, so you have to make sure that you're constantly trying to evade your opponent when you're trying to hit them with your Card Rockets. You will need to master how to lead your target when playing as this character when using her rocket cards. This is where Mystine comes in as a great support class character because of the long range of her cards that allows her to assist players from a distance while also keeping herself safe. But in case an enemy moves in to try to close the distance on you, that's when your mirror shield comes in handy. The mirror shield for a few seconds when deployed can absorb the attack of any rockets thrown at it. Aside from special attacks, the mirror shield can take on all comers, which allows you then to make a quick retreat or wait for your opponent to run out of rockets and then hit them back with your card rockets. Now because Mystine, as I said, is a good support class character, she's very squishy, so she doesn't have a lot of health to go around. And once she's close to death, you're pretty much going to be in trouble, unless of course you have your Phantasm activated. Her Phantasm ability deploys a clone of herself that will run around, attack opponents, deploy shields, and basically do kind of the things that you would do the main purpose of this Phantasm character so far serves three major roles. The first and most obvious one is that it gives you an extra character on the field that can attack your opponents with you, dealing some extra damage. Keep in mind that your Phantasm clone can't finish off an opponent if they're in the red. You have to do that or an ally has to. The second good use for the Phantasm is that it's a great way to get your character out of trouble if you're near death or surrounded by opponents. As I said earlier, Mystine's a very squishy character, so it is best for you to deploy your Phantasm character before you go into combat. That way, in case of scenarios where you're outnumbered 3 to 1 and you're taking on heavy damage, simply switch places with your clone, in which case your clone will be away from the danger, giving you a chance to retreat and regain your health. The third great use about the Phantasm ability is that because it doesn't show any signs of which character is which, your opponents will oftentimes go after the clone instead of you. This is great whenever enemies are chasing after you, in which case you can deploy your clone, have them chase the clone and shoot at it while you come up behind and flank them, taking them out. Again, your clone's not completely useless in during out these phases. She will shoot back at enemies and will even deploy a mirror shield just like your own to take in damage. Really try to use your Phantasm clone to your advantage when taking on multiple opponents at once. One great combo to use is that right before you go into battle, deploy your Phantasm clone. While your clone is moving around the battlefield either attacking opponents or just simply wandering around, this is your opportunity to hit your opponents with your card rockets. Lead your target with your card rockets and once they get the idea that you're attacking them, as they turn to face you and shoot at you, deploy your mirror shield. While your mirror shield is taking on damage, your clone will move in and attack the opponent that's attacking you. Your opponent will either break away and either start shooting the clone or they'll stay stuck on you, but either way, because they're getting hit by the clone, they're taking heavy damage. So break down from your shield, hit him with your card rockets, and you'll be able to take them out pretty quickly. This is one of the better combos I've been running with lately, so this is definitely going to work out for you if you use it just right. I can't stress this enough that Messina is definitely one of the more challenging characters to master in this game. Right off the bat, she doesn't deal a whole lot of heavy damage, even with her three card burst at the end of every other attack. Not to mention as well that she's not a very fast character either. It is best to keep her from a distance from the fight and use her as a sharpshooting character while also supporting other class characters like say Izel or Blastbeard. Another great character to run with Mystine is also Kai. Having these two as a sharpshooter is why say having Blastbeard move in on the opponents is a great team to have. Now I do have three artifacts I'm currently running that have definitely helped me boost up the damage output that Mystine can do, which trust me when I say you're really gonna need it. The artifacts I'm currently running from top to bottom is Blastbird. Now Blastbird deals increased amount of damage. The more levels you get up with this artifact, the more damage you can deal with every attack. This has been a big lifesaver for me when playing as this character because like I said, without these increased damage outputs, Mystine doesn't really do that whole lot of damage. She's accurate, but she needs that extra power. The second artifact I'm using is Unstable Canister. Unstable Canister deals more damage the higher your blast meter is. 
Now this works out great if you are playing Mystina as a supporting class character. Backing up a heavy hitter like Aizel while you both are dealing damage will build up your blast meter. It makes all the difference when you get to stack this up, especially with your blast bird artifact. And the final artifact I'm using right now to help increase your overall damage output is of course Boom Bit. Boom Bit increases my overall damage every time I get a KO, which isn't that hard to get with this character provided you are playing as a support. These three artifacts you can mix and match as you wish. If some of you, for example, are tired of how slow Mystine moves, feel free to switch out Blast Bird for a more faster artifact. Just keep in mind though that she really does need these damage outputs. Mystine will definitely test your skills and your patience when playing as this character, but give it time, keep a distance from medium to long range from your opponents, and you'll do just fine as this character. And there you have it. Hope you've enjoyed our Rocket Arena gameplay tips and tricks Mystine Beginner's Guide. We have six more characters to cover, which means there's six more videos to come. But whatever order those videos come in is completely up to you. So feel free to drop a comment below of what character you'd like to see next. The next character that we'll be covering in this game, requested by you guys, will be Blink. Definitely subscribe so you can check out those videos once they're up. We'll also be covering games like Cyberpunk 2077, Watch Dogs Legions, and much more. I look forward to seeing you in our next Rocket Arena gameplay tips and tricks video, and I'll see you then.